All right guys, so today we are gonna go up north for a little trip. Got a couple of places we want to go up there and I figured we would just bring you along with us to see what all we can get into and see what all we can find. So let's go. Lily's being a baby because he's cold. I like that one. That's cute. Oh, that's Nate. Oh, that is Nate, isn't it? I like that. Okay, I'm going to use these, Mama. I can get that. Yes. I think it costs $25. We also have. We have some of that. It's not ready. I like that ghost. I like stuff that's not actually scary looking. That ain't my my thing. Yeah. I like cutesy Halloween stuff. Yep. Try to make him pull in your hoodie back in. That looks just like you. Can you see anything? I don't want that. Yes, you do. Hold it up. Thank you. No way on the line, Dennis. Not the camera. I don't know. His teeth clean. How does he have teeth if he got precious teeth? Oh, yes. Anyway, Lily. It's nasty. Look how cool this one is. He's the nastiest one. I think this one is five dollars. Oh, I, I like that. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. What is that? What the freak is that? <laughs> it's not. All right, we're home from Target. Well, we went other places, but this is a, where, what we bought at Target. I'm going to go ahead and just show you really quick before I put it away. Just a little haul. Um, but we got some of these sugar cookies. I thought they was cute. So I got those for the kids. I know they're Halloween. It's not Halloween yet, but they're fun. And then somebody, this was not up at the dollar spot. It is from the dollar spot, though. Um, somebody had got it and then decided they didn't want it. I just happened to see it and pick it up and... I liked it. It was $5, so 
I brought it home. I thought this would look cute up in my office area. Um, it's supposed to be for a tear tray, but I thought it would look cute up there because the colors kind of go with what's going on up there. So not really, but sort of. Um, but anyways, it was $5, so I said yes, and I grabbed it. Got that. Nolan had told me just earlier today he needed some more of like sweatpants, but not sweatpants. Um, so I checked Target just because that's where we went today, and they had these. These was $10. Uh-oh, they're medium. Well, they're 10 Um but they was $10. This is the only color they had in his size. So I got those for him. And then Fallon from Moss Family TV talks about this being so good. You can only find it at Target. So, well, she can and I can only find it at Target too. So, I just happened to see this, thankfully. And, you know, I knew I'd been wanting to try it. So, I grabbed one of those. And then I saw this. Um, just a pumpkin spice hot chocolate bomb. And I'd been wanting to try a hot... Yeah, I've been wanting to try a hot chocolate bomb anyways, and then pumpkin spice, so I just, I had to buy it. It was $3, and then, um, Nolan has been wanting some of these for a while. He had a pair not long ago, and I moved them, and they're just, they're nowhere to be seen, so I don't know if one of the dogs got them or what, so I finally found these. I've been looking for them since they started putting out the Halloween stuff, so I bought those. This was another fun little thing I got for the kids for lunches. I thought that would be fun. And then, this is just a eyeball banner. It was at the dollar spot for $3. I thought this would be cute for Halloween, so we picked up that. And then, I wanted a snack. And so, I got this Scarecrow Crunch. It is so good. I'm going to have to hide this, I think. So, I ate some of that. Wendy has been wanting a burnt orange sweater. And she wanted to check today, so we did. And... They had it, and I'm. She I told her she had to wear it. It was twenty dollars, and I just. She's not usually a sweater girl, but figured we would try it. And then they also had this. Really got this for Lily, but they only had this medium, and usually she's like a ten in kids' clothes, ten, twelve. So I told her we'd try it. If it don't fit her, her brother will wear it because it is a boys, and it was only twelve dollars. So that's all we got. Just a little haul. You could fold it though. Ew. Ew. You couldn't fold it up. Oh. You don't like it like that? Nope. All right. We'll just maybe we'll get online and find the the size up I for you. I like it folded. Worked good for Nolan because he wanted one anyways, and that was the only one they had in that size. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna try this. Earlier we went to McDonald's for lunch because that's what the kids wanted. And I got I ordered a pumpkin spice iced coffee and I was excited because I really like the McDonald's coffee. It smells like cough syrup. Um, I really like the McDonald's coffee and the pumpkin spice is one of my favorites. Like I prefer it over Starbucks. And they messed it up. They was really nice, but they messed it up and they didn't put the special pumpkin spice syrup in it because the guy rung it up wrong. Um, it tasted good. It was just a sweet sugar and cream coffee. So I just kept it, but I'm kind of sad. But I haven't drunk it all. I'm just not in the mood for just plain coffee. I mean, I wanted pumpkin spice. So we're going to try this anyways. Short story, very long. It's good for sparkling water anyways. The grape flavor is really strong, which is good. I used to hate grape flavored stuff, and I still don't like the smell of it. But over the last couple years, I've started really liking it. Um, so, yeah, this is good. I'm going to drink this. Be better cold, of course. But I'm going to drink this, and I think John's working somewhere out there. He's wanting to start the um, block, the like deck porch area. One reason we went up north was we wanted to see what they had at Home Depot to work on the AC unit. Um, we had two people come out and look at it. One guy just, he didn't want to do what we wanted to be done and we were hiring you to do a job for us. So we just, we knew that that was a no. And the other guy was willing to do it, but it was really expensive. And we, you know, John can do it. John can do it if he can find the right stuff. So, 
we just didn't see paying that much money. It was like $7,000, less than $7,000, but it was $7,000. Um, so yeah, we're trying to avoid that if we can. So, so far we've not had no luck. Um, we're gonna look some more here locally. Home Depot was like, we don't have one locally, so we had to drive all the way up there for that, which wasn't a big deal. We went a couple of other places anyways, like we don't have Target, so that was a win, I guess. Um, I think Target's too overhyped personally, but I do like it, but it's not a big deal. But anyways, yeah, no luck there. We just have to figure something out. So. <laughs> wow. Uh, I figured out how people did that. You use your back camera at the most zoomed out, and then you put it up at your face. People did that on TikTok, and do you know how? This is That's why how. this child wanted a good camera, I guess. It's so funny. <laughs> to do this. Oh, it's so good. What? <laughs> You're crazy. I've been wanting to do homemade French toast and I was gonna do that, but I think we're gonna skip it because I've only got the one big frying pan now. Really need to buy another one. Um, so we're gonna use these and then make some hash browns with sausages, like smoked sausage. You should grow extra hands whenever you become a YouTuber and a mom. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that. And I figured that I'm blurry. Um, figured I'd just share that really quick before we close out the video. And so for this dish, I just decided to do a voiceover because it just was loud and it was in the evening. It was just one of those things where I just wanted to get it done. So, um, what we're gonna do is in a large pan, you're gonna take some butter and onions. You're gonna saute up the onions until they're starting to get translucent. Um, and then you will add in your sausages. I just cut up three. I did go in, I did end up going back and adding one more because three just didn't seem like enough meat for my family. Um, the girls didn't eat this. So that's why if you think it's not enough for six people, for the most part for meals for our family it's not because we're full of picky eaters and we make do with that it's fine we don't force things on our kids that we know they don't like um so i did take four of the sausages cut them up after the onions was you know starting to turn translucent we added in the sausages browned them up a little bit and just got a little crispy on them and then we added in the shredded hash browns the hash browns had a couple of large clumps that we had to let slowly thaw out and you know come apart but after it was all done we turned up the heat a little bit added a little bit of butter at some point and we um just got it a little crispy and it was really good this was a super fast and delicious meal 
This is a reminder to yourself and to me that you don't have to have big, fancy, elaborate meals. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I do not have big, fancy, elaborate meals. I don't. That's just not, that's not me. I ain't got time for that. I mean, I got time. I don't want to do it. For some of us folks, we like quick, simple, and easy. And this is what that was. dinner is done um i just came out here on this porch the lighting's bad the camera's on auto i didn't feel like messing with it um i have a uncle who is not doing well he is in the hospital with and um he was put on a ventilator earlier this evening so yeah um i just came out here to close out this vlog i know this will go up um, I don't even know when, but it'll be days after the be praying for him and my family. Um, I hope that everybody is doing good. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, guys.